Good evening guys, it's Kevin. Uh, it's currently Thursday night. Uh, as you can see, I did some thrifting as, from the previous clips that you just saw. Uh, right now I'm gonna go over everything that I, I purchased and kind of walk you through um, some of the things that I bought. Uh, there's several things that I didn't get clips of. Either my, my phone wasn't didn't actually record at the time I picked it up uh, or I just completely forgot to do it. So still pretty pretty new to this uh, thrifting stuff as far as videoing it um, so I just see something I get excited and I, I just grab it and I take it and put it in my cart so uh, very first thing that we're gonna go over is uh, you saw a clip of me grabbing a jacket uh, that is that was the very first uh, stop that I I went to was uh, Goodwill and I picked up several things I don't know if you guys got a glimpse of my cart uh, at all in those video clips but we're going to go over that and, and see what I got from that store. Uh, so might as well pull out the, the heavy hitter from that store. It's a really nice uh, Patagonia jacket. So I always want to keep a lookout for these, these jackets uh, at thrift stores wherever. Um, or just that brand in general. It generally, uh, generally sells for a decent amount. Uh, it's a little dirty and dusty, but it's got a couple little little spots here. But overall, it's in really good condition, uh, and it is a size large, so um, should be should be a pretty popular one to to sell. So that was a great buy, and I did pay uh, twelve ninety nine for it uh, plus tax. I think it's probably going to at least net me at least over fifty bucks if I were to take a guess based on the comps that I saw. Uh, but we'll see. And one thing that I really like to get are shoes. Uh, I tend to get drawn to shoes because I think a lot of people uh, shy away from used shoes. But I think that there's a lot of value in them. And I've done pretty well so far with used shoes. Uh, mostly there's specific brands that I really look for. And you're going to see there are a couple of them right now. So I actually picked up uh, running shoes. Tend to do pretty well. Uh, but there's definitely brands that you want to stay away from. Uh, was it Saucony? Uh, it's definitely one that I don't like to purchase. I don't like to buy anything really Adidas related except for a purchase you'll see later. Um, I, I tend to look for Brooks as uh, is, is generally my my go-to running shoe brand. Uh, I've had a pair of Brooks before and, and they were great so they tend to hold some value to them. 
generally around the $25 to $30 range if you get them in good condition. Uh, people will buy them used. So these, these overall were pretty good condition. Uh, they're a very sharp looking shoe as far as it would catch anybody's eye. So, uh, and ultimately, I, you know, they're a little dirty on the bottom, but you can clean those off. And I paid $5.99 for them, so I think I should be able to turn a decent profit off of them. Uh, they are a woman's size 7. So, uh, let's see here. I got another pair of Brooks athletic shoes. These are actually more of more of tennis shoes, I think, than actual running shoes, or because they have a lot more more grip. But I did pay $5.99 for them. They're actually in really nice shape. Uh, there's no pilling on the backs of the shoe. Uh, not not much wear inside the shoe at all. Um, and also, with they're they're pretty clean and and very little little usage. It looks like you know, from first glance, you know, a little little wear on the front. It's pretty common. Uh, but for $5.99, definitely worth it. Probably will, will fetch me another 25 bucks or so. Uh, let's see here. Normally I don't buy New Balance shoes, but I picked these up because these look brand new. Like they've never been used at all. Um, except for the bottom, there's a little dirt, so it looks like maybe they wore them once and then put them away. I did pay $5.99 for them. Generally, New Balance used shoes don't do well for me, but since these are in like new condition, uh, it was worth taking a chance, hoping that I can get 20, 25 bucks out of them, which I think I can uh, eventually. It might take some time to sell. And then another shoe uh, that tends to do pretty well for me are Skechers Shape Ups. Uh, this is probably like the fifth pair of Shape Ups that I've purchased. And these overall look to be in pretty good shape. Not much wear on the bottom. Um, no, no cuts or scratches. Just a little dirty uh, on the sole of it. But all in all, pretty good shape. No pilling on the inside. You can actually still see some some of the letters uh, within the actual um, within the shoe. So you can. You can tell that these were, were not used as, as much, and the fact that I paid uh, $4.99 for them, uh, these tend to get me probably about $25 to $30 bucks, uh, on average. So, pretty excited about those uh, at this sale. Also picked up, uh, or this uh, thrift store also picked up uh, Alias, Sydney uh, Bristow, or Bristow. I don't really watch the show, but it looks like, uh, was it? Jennifer Gardner, uh, her character on the show, although probably not the most flattering character uh, for her. So, probably could have did a better job for her. Uh, but I did only pay $1.99. Uh, I think I saw these going for like $14-$15 bucks, uh, on eBay, so not too bad. And then the last thing that I got uh, at that, that thrift store was this 1988's version of uh, Mousetrap. So generally I don't, I shy away from a lot of board games, especially ones that have a lot of pieces. Um, awesome. Uh, but, you know, Mousetrap, it was only $2.99. Uh, I took a chance. I haven't really looked in, into it to see if all the pieces are there. I just peeked inside. Looks like there's a bunch of pieces uh, still in there, so I, I think it's probably complete. But we'll find out. Uh, but people were selling them just for some of the parts in there on eBay, and I figure I can at least get you know more than $2.99 uh, out of at least the parts if it's not complete. So uh, figure I took a <clears throat> take a chance on it. And then I made my way over to um, another Goodwill uh, located closer to my work, and picked up several several pretty good things. Uh, especially a lot of good good electronics and so one of the first things that I picked up was this uh, Peaks backup camera system uh, it is brand new sealed and then there never been opened uh, and I did pay only four dollars and nine cents for it from what I can see it's going for about 30 bucks uh, plus shipping on top of that uh, on eBay so this should be a good good sale for me 
I uh, did not see any comps on this, but it looked pretty cool. Um, it does have a little price tag, originally 15 bucks. I paid 209 for it. It's a, uh, a thermometer that you can either use uh, within your car or also <clears throat> probably within your house as well. I just thought it was pretty cool. You don't see those. I also picked up a brand new Dirt Devil uh, for $4.09. Uh, as you can see, they're originally $25 bucks brand new at the store, but on eBay, there, there wasn't any brand new ones really listed except for a couple, and they were listed for like 30 bucks or so. Um, so I think this, this will probably give me a, a little decent return. Um, everything is brand new inside there. I checked it. So pretty, pretty good purchase. Uh, I also picked up this wire harness for a GM uh, remote starter. It's a T-harness. I did pay $3.09. I didn't see any comps, but I do know that, you know, wire harnesses, especially one that are is this intricate, um, tend to hold some value to them. Uh, you see a lot of the cheaper wire harnesses for, like, car radios and stuff like that going for, like, 10 bucks or so, but this is a remote starter uh, wire harness. Uh, brand new, so this should probably fetch me, you know, maybe maybe 20, 25 bucks. Uh, also picked up a brand new sealed uh, Jeopardy game uh, book and uh, the game cartridge, brand new for only a dollar nine. Uh, it is sealed, never been opened. I think I actually either have this game or I sold the game off already uh, with another book. I'm going to check. If I do still have it, I'll probably just lump it in with that lot. <clears throat> um, the only pair of shoes that I bought at this place... At this place, they actually had some pretty decent Brooks running shoes uh, that were in, in decent shape. Um, but ultimately, I did not get them. Uh, they, they were priced at about... Uh, seven to eight bucks, which kind of eats into the profit a little bit more. Um, and they weren't as in good of condition. Uh, they had a little bit more scuffing and, and a little bit more tread loss on the bottom. Um, but these shoes I picked up, uh, they are North Face shoes. Uh, I paid $7.99 for them. Uh, based on the comps that I saw on eBay, looked like they were going for anywhere between like 30 and 40 bucks. So these actually are in pretty good condition. For the most part, pretty clean. I mean, there's a little dirt which I can clean off easily. Uh, but if you're if you're willing to put in the time to, to clean it off, you can definitely fetch a decent profit off of off of shoes. So I think these are going to be a pretty good buy for me. And then the last thing at uh, this other Goodwill, I picked up this Sirius XM satellite radio home kit. Uh, it, it actually is brand new inside. I did open up. Everything is sealed. Uh, and they're plastic pieces, so uh, it is brand new, and I did pay seven dollars and nine cents. Uh, I looked up comps on eBay; they were selling for, I think, the cheapest one was selling for like forty something dollars uh, free shipping. So this should uh, net me a decent return, probably at least twenty dollars profit or so. Not too bad. Um, the last place that I went to was Salvation Army. Uh, I only bought two things, but one of them was probably the best buy out of all of them, and you, you saw a clip earlier in the video. Uh, I was scrolling through the shoes, but we'll get to that in a second. I did pick up this Gin Rummy uh, game. Uh, it does look like it's been used. I haven't tested it yet. About $3.99. Uh, There's only a few comps on eBay for like $14, $14 bucks. so I'll, I'll probably at least double my money off of it. Uh, if it works, I'm sure it does. Handheld games generally do pretty well for me, so I tend to pick them up. And then the last thing uh, I picked up, and you saw, I was scrolling the, the shoes, and you know they definitely caught my eye, and I ended up whipping the camera over so you guys can see it. Uh, or these brand new, not, not brand new, sorry, uh, these used Adidas uh, Yeezy uh, shoes. So they were... A little dirty on the bottom, $19.99. But ultimately, like on the tops, everything, uh, even in the insides, there's hardly hardly any wear to them. A uh, little, slight little dirt right here, but not too bad. Everything else is pretty clean. 
uh, in general, and this is normal uh, from what I've seen. All these white white st spots are pretty normal. Uh, but yeah, really good pair of uh, Yeezys. Uh, ended up purchasing them for 20 bucks. Based on the comps that I saw on eBay, I mean, they, they are all over the place. Uh, but I think I could probably get in the, the like 140 to 180 uh, range for for them. Um, I've seen some listed uh, as high as 600 bucks. Obviously, that's listed. Uh, so who who knows where I'm actually going to be able to get get money off of, or how much I'm going to get for them. But they are size eight men's, which does uh, does limit the pool. There's not many people that have size eight feet uh, as far as men go, but you know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, pretty excited about this purchase, so it was definitely, definitely a fun find. Um, can't believe I found a pair of Yeezys at a at a Salvation Army. So uh, that's that's all I have as far as uh, thrifting stuff today. Uh, I felt like it was a really good day. Got a lot of great value. Uh, ultimately, I don't think I paid over a hundred bucks for all of this stuff, and I, I should fetch. A pretty good return on everything, so I'm I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna get it listed on eBay, and let's get it sold so I can I can show you guys again and see, show you how much I sold it for. Uh, so that's all I have. I uh, thank you guys for watching, and hope you guys have a good one. Mm -hmm.